All right, YouTube, like and subscribe. All right, let's get right into this story. So this is about the time I went on a date with a 51-year-old, okay? So I've had a lot of interesting, unique experiences happen in my life, so this is one of the many. This happened, I believe it was, yeah, it was back in November. So I had a two-year relationship that ended in February 2019. And then after then, I was like, you know, I want to do a lot of interesting experiences uh, because I want to take advantage of the time of being single just in case I end up being in a relationship that ends up being lifelong where I would potentially look back and regret uh, on not doing certain things while I was single. Uh, and also, I ended up having another relationship, which was from July till mid-September. Uh, but after then, I got back onto that track of finishing up more and more stuff that was kind of on my bucket list of unique experiences. So one of those unique experiences I wanted to try out was to go on a date with someone a lot older than me. So at the time, I just turned 24. I turned 24 uh, at the beginning of November. And um, this woman is 51 years old. So my parents are 50. Right now, they're like about 55 years old. So 51 years old is not too far off from 55. And before then, the oldest uh, woman that I've done every, anything with was in her 40s. Um, I made out with a woman in her 40s. Uh, I don't know the specific age in her 40s, uh, but that was the oldest I've ever done anything with. Then the oldest I've ever had a fuck buddy situation uh, with at the time was 30. So 51-year-old was going to break the record uh, in any sort of remotely intimate situation, which is a date. So that's all that happened. Uh, with this 51 year old that one date I never really pursued uh, anything more or any other dates uh, out of like laziness and forgetfulness etc etc so this was what the date was she lives I live in a town that's about 20 minutes west of Boston this woman lives in a town that's like 45 minutes northwest from my town I mean, not northwest, uh, northeast. So we decided the best meetup point was a, uh, a town called Woburn. And Woburn is about 20 minutes away from the both of us. So we met at a place called Joe's American Bar and Grill there. It's like, an, a, a, like a little bit higher end of an American style food place. So it's nothing too expensive, but it's like a little higher class than the average American place. So uh, I made it probably about 10, 15 minutes after she made it there. She was waiting at the bar part first. Uh, we were just going to chill there, and then we were going to get a table after a little while. So I made it there, uh, and we both got a beer, uh, and... We talked there for about 20 minutes, and she actually paid for our beers, which was really nice of her. But at first, I felt, honestly, kind of uncomfortable because of the very strange, obscure age difference. Typically, when there's big age differences, uh, one, it can seem strange. Uh, but typically, when you see an age difference that big, uh, or any sort of big age difference, it would be the man who is older than the woman. You don't typically see the woman that much older than the man. So think about that. That's like 26, she's 26 years older than me, and she's only about four years younger than my parents. So that is quite the age difference. 
Um, and, but I ended up becoming comfortable quite quick, probably after like 10 minutes or so, because I realized she was completely fine and comfortable with this situation. So I was like, if she's fine and comfortable with it, then I'm fine and comfortable with it, you know? I don't give any crap about what people think, you know? That's the point I was at. So what we were just talking about was like a little bit of history of uh, ourselves and like small talk about a lot of random stuff about ourselves, you know? She was like saying how she used to be a a history teacher for quite a while because she studied education at Simmons College and she eventually went to get two different masters at Providence College and has been working as a psychology type person, uh, psychologist type person for group therapy stuff uh, for like veterans addictions and people with other mental issues. And she was like mentioning how she's been living in that town that's about 20 minutes or so uh, um, northwest of northeast of Woburn. Uh, she was living there for about 35 years, but then she lived in out in the Berkshires and towns around there for about 15 years. The Berkshires and towns around there, what that is, is it's like the middle of nowhere in like all away Western Mass. So she was like saying how there's not much to do there and she didn't like it too much. Uh, and she preferred being out by here in Western Mass where there's a lot more stuff to do. So that made a lot of sense. Uh, so yeah, she um, she moved back to this Eastern Mass area, literally not too long ago, a few years ago or so, I forget. But it was interesting, like, hearing about her life past and uh, changes in life uh, and, like, the reason why she started getting into that psychology type uh, stuff was because she, uh, at one point, stopped being a teacher and, like, wanted to try to do something else, but she wasn't sure yet. So in the meanwhile, she was working uh, multiple different jobs part-time uh one included a thrift shop uh which she happened to interact with a number of veterans there so that's what got her to think wait a minute maybe my next life path is to be a psychologist or help in the psychology of veterans or whatever so that's why she got into that uh, and decided to get uh, two different masters and, uh, and all that kind of stuff, you know? So, um, yeah, we ended up uh, moving to the next table, uh, meaning like moving to the table and ordering food and eating and all that stuff. Uh, but, yeah, it was a good, great experience. We talked a lot. Uh, and um, one funny thing at one point, was I didn't finish my beer at the bar. I finished my beer at the table because, like, I drank half of it at the bar, but then I decided to save the rest of the half, like, for a while I was drinking, you know, I, I, while I was eating, you know? Uh, so uh, later on, uh, probably, like, 15 minutes or so uh, before the date ended, uh, I accidentally knocked down my beer all over the table. Uh, so that was kind of funny. Um, uh, it wasn't really all over the table. It was like half on the table and then the rest on the ground. Uh, so, uh, it was kind of awkward and silly that I did that. Um, but then again, I've done a lot of weird stuff in the past, uh, with friends, people I've just met, uh, dates, whatever. So that wasn't too out of the ordinary. Another thing too is the waiter and then also other people around us seem to notice that the vibes uh, she and I had were date vibes. It didn't seem as if we, like she was an aunt or my mother or whatever. Uh, so I could tell we were getting a little bit of weird looks, but then again, I get weird looks a lot, uh, whenever I'm with friends or whatever, uh, because we are, we are normally out of control and silly, you know? Uh, so that was pretty much the gist of the story. Um, it was a good experience, um, unique experience. So I'm glad I got that done. 
And yeah, thank you, thank you for listening. Maybe someday I'll go on a date with her again. All right, bye bye.